Hey guys, and welcome back to another Age of Mythology video. Now, I have not uploaded one of these in a while. Nonetheless, I hope you enjoy this one. So when you're ready, grab your cup of tea, sit back, relax, and enjoy. In this video, we'll be covering all of the water myth units and which ones are the best at what in a series of challenges. On screen now are all the water units inside Age of Mythology as of this point with the Chinese expansion. All of these tests need to be taken with a grain of salt as human players play differently than AI, 1v1s and stuff aren't per se accurate for actual gameplay, and you need to take into account different upgrades, population cost, resource cost per unit, and so on. What I'm trying to imply here is that this video can be a good source of information about certain units, what they excel in, which units they can easily take down on their own. But in player versus play matches, there are very, very many variables like skill, kiting, population count, and tactics, micromanagement, all that kind of stuff must be taken into account as well. But that's really hard for a video like this. With that being said, enjoy. The water myth units range from the hippocampus to the azure dragon. The resource cost per unit is on screen now. Keep in mind that resources like food are pretty much infinite while resources like gold and wood can run out on certain maps. The population cost per unit is important as the lower the population cost the more you can spam them if you'd like to or use alongside your other army units. I will be excluding the hippocampus from this video because it's a respawning scout and the servant will also be excluded apart from this mention. Servants are cheap units which do do extra damage against myth units except even two of them aren't very good. They're more of a uh, sort of scout, if anything. They seriously cannot take any of the other heroic myth units on in this list, even in a group of two. And these are base units, by the way. No upgrades whatsoever. Now, I'll be putting these other units to the test in a series of challenges, which will give them a certain amount of points depending on how good they are. The winner will be getting three points, second place two points, third place one point, 4th and 5th place will be getting 0.5 points, except for the special and cost categories. The first round is against each other, and it's pretty obvious which one is going to win here. It's the Nereid. The Nereid beat out every single myth unit on this list in this category, simply because she or he has a 7 times myth unit bonus, and she attacks fairly quickly as well. The Scylla also did fairly well coming into second place, and if you consider that this unit has upgrades and can triple its damage after 12 kills, you've got a serious water myth unit right here. With multiple heads, it can take on even the Nereid by itself. Now keep in mind, in actual practice, if you're going to get those heads, you're most likely going to take damage as well, so the total health of the Scylla will be lower than a fresh unit. After testing them against each other, it was time to test them out against ships. In this case, four non-upgraded longboats. To no surprise, the Scylla came out on top, the Kraken in second place, and the Leviathan, weirdly enough, in third place. I did not realize the Leviathan was that good. Now, the way I checked which ones did best is simply by the amount of damage they done to the total four ships, or how many ships they destroyed in total, before going down. Next up, a fight versus a hero ship, in this case, the Greek Argo ship. And this time, the results were vastly different. The Leviathan, weirdly enough, came out on top. And I think that's because the Leviathan is a tanky transporter. But that means he also did a decent amount of damage as well. The Scylla came in second place, and the Kraken came in third place, because it, of course, cannot instant kill a hero ship. The next challenge is a fight against a dock with absolutely no upgrades. To my surprise, the Kraken and Leviathan both didn't come very far. The first to kill the dock or destroy the dock was the Scylla. The second was the War Salamander, which by the way can also walk on land, not just swim in the ocean. And the third place, even more surprisingly, the Nereid. Like what? How is the Nereid faster than a Kraken? It's safe to say I was very surprised. Next up, a test versus some hoplites, and really this is not a very good test, I'll be honest. Even with Toxotis, it would have been a little strange, but um, yeah. The Leviathan came out on top, killed most of the hoplites without losing too much health. Kraken second place, it of course can throw the units, 
and in third place the Scylla, and the more heads it gets, the better it becomes. Of course, if you're getting attacked by a water myth unit, you're going to be using ranged units to take it down, and not necessarily melee units like hoplites. So, in terms of score, the special and cost category are simply extra points for if the unit can do something special. For example, the Scylla gets more damage the more it kills, the Leviathan is a transporter, the Kraken has an instant kill mechanic, the Narid has a special which does a huge amount of damage, and the War Salamander can go on land, so it's more versatile. As for cost, the Nereid is the best bang for your buck, the War Salamander in 2nd place and the Kraken in 3rd place. Now keep in mind you can boost the Kraken's health by 25% with the Wrath of the Deep upgrade which makes it a lot stronger. But in the end, the best myth unit in terms of score from these tests is the Scylla. 2nd place Nereid, 3rd place the Leviathan, that being said, I would still probably go with the Kraken over the Leviathan, even though one's Egyptian and the other is Norse, because the Kraken is more effective at sea. Now in terms of the Mythic Age, we have 6 different Myth units, and I'll be honest, I did a variety of tests, not all of which you'll see on the screen, and out of these, the best was, strangely enough, the Chinese Dragon Turtle. In second place, just losing to the Jormund, the Azure Dragon, and in first place, the Jormund Elva, which I didn't expect either. The other myth units are actually really good, including the Carquinos and War Turtle, but the Man of War seems a little lacking for whatever reason. It doesn't do that much damage, it does have a large health pool and good defense, but it just, it just lacks. And it is good against ships because, like Son of Osiris, it has a chain lightning attack, although a lot weaker. But even then, it feels, it feels a little underwhelming, if I'm being honest. I have used it in actual gameplay as well, and I guess the best use of the Man of War is to use it alongside a bunch of other ships. Surprisingly, against ships, it didn't come in the top 3 either. I, uh, like I said, underwhelming myth unit in my opinion. The War Turtle, first place. Super strong, tanky, deals a good amount of damage. Dragon Turtle, same thing, second place. And Carquinos, or Carcanos, the crab, third place. When tested against the Argo Hero ship, the results didn't change at all. The War Turtle came in first place, Dragon Turtle second place, and Carquinos in third place. However, when we look at fighting a dock, the Dragon Turtle seemed to beat out the War Turtle, so the Chinese myth unit beat out the Egyptian myth unit. I think that has to do with the fact that the Dragon Turtle has five more crush attack than the War Turtle. That being said, the War Turtle is still very effective and capable of destroying docks relatively quickly. Now the unit test was an absolute disaster, every single time units kept getting stuck and so on, and this is really not a good test, but uh, I added it in anyway, and the Dragon Turtle seemed to get most of them down. Azure Dragon 2nd place, and Jormund Elver in 3rd place, the Sniping Machine Gun Snake. Now I'm aware these points are extremely, extremely far apart. The Dragon Turtle has 15, the Man of War has 3.5, and, and like I said, these tests must be taken with a grain of salt. That being said, the Dragon Turtle is a very, very strong and versatile myth unit for the seas. It does good against docks, land units, hero ships, regular ships, and against other myth units. That is incredible. Now, even though some of the myth units here have low points, it doesn't necessarily mean they're a lot worse. For example, the Jormund Elva can be used very well to snipe villagers on island maps, which is something the other units cannot do. The War Turtle has a sort of AoE spinning special, which can be effective if you're surrounded by a bunch of units. That being said, when it does start spinning, it's vulnerable because A, the hitbox is very small, and B, players could simply move away and hit the War Turtle from range. It can be good, it can also be bad. In my opinion, the absolute best myth unit, tier for tier or age for age, is the Scylla. Simply because it works well in most of the challenges, and it even beat out the best mythic unit without upgrades, with all of its heads. Absolutely insane. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it interesting. If you did, leave a like and maybe even consider subscribing for more Age of Mythology content. Just a note, if you like real-time strategy games, I recommend checking out my essay about the decline of these games on my main channel. And the reason I'm mentioning my main channel is also because this channel is my second channel. So more of my time is obviously geared towards my main channel and that's why I don't upload other videos like Age of Mythology as actively here.